What's up everybody, it's Simon from Lake Hub. Today, our spotlight features on beautiful Broken Bow Lake in southeastern Oklahoma. This is an absolute gorgeous gem of a lake. It is rock bottom, so it is crystal clear blue water. Just one of the prettiest lakes I've ever seen in my whole life. It is so gorgeous, and it's no surprise that over a million people visit this lake every year. So this lake is about 14,000 acres, and it has over 150 miles of shoreline, and much of that is totally wild. I mean, it looks just like this, as you can see, pine trees, hills, islands, all kinds of places to explore. So this lake was built in the 1960s, not only for water supply, but also for hydroelectric. So there's a hydroelectric plant on the dam, and it kind of goes into and interacts with the state park. As far as amenities go, there's only one marina, but it's a good one. You can see right here behind me, it's called Beaver's Bend Marina. It's a private marina, and it actually changed ownership last year, and it looks like they're putting some money back into it. So there have been quite a few, quite a few uh, improvements made in the last year on this marina, including new pavement on the parking lot, boat ramp, that sort of thing. You can rent boats, you can rent houseboats, you can live on a houseboat here. It has a lot going on at this marina. As far as boat ramps, um, there are a lot of boat ramps that are accessible from 259, the state highway that, that kind of runs uh, north and south, but to the west of the lake. But they're all kind of concentrated basically right here behind the marina. So there's a state park where you can camp and stuff. Um, kind of on all these points right over here. We're in, the, we're in the corner of the lake. The spillway is right over here behind the camera. The dam is right around the corner behind that. So all of the activity in the lake is kind of concentrated to the southwest and then the rest is just completely wild. Something else that's unique about this lake as far as being in the south is concerned, if you, if you consider Oklahoma the south, a lot of people do. I don't know if it's technically correct, but a lot of people do is that there are pike and walleye and sturgeon in this lake because it's so deep and it's cold, clear water. I think the max depth is around 160, 180 feet. And so it can support, you know, colder water species, which is really unique for this area. It's also known for smallmouth and largemouth. So it really is a great fishing lake and is commonly on the, uh, kind of Eastern Oklahoma largemouth tournament circuit. As far as boating goes, this lake is awesome. There are so many points and coves and places to explore and islands to hang out on. Uh, it is just a really, really cool boating lake. If you want more information on where to access uh, Broken Bow Lake, if you have a boat, we have all that done in a totally separate video called very creatively Broken Bow Lake Boat Ramps. So oddly enough, the nearest town with all the amenities like restaurants, bait and tackle shops, um, places to stay, rental cabins and so forth, is not Broken Bow, Oklahoma. So when people say they're going to Broken Bow, usually they mean they're going to the lake. Broken Bow, the town is, it's like small town America, right? It has, it has a a high school, has a Ace Hardware, you know, grocery stores and that sort of thing. Has has kind of like an, an, a historic Main Street, you know. Um, but when people say they're going to Broken Bow, usually it means they're coming to the lake. They're going to drive, if you're coming from Texas, you're driving right through Broken Bow, Oklahoma. If you're coming from Oklahoma or somewhere in the north or Arkansas, you might not even go through Broken Bow at all. And where you're going to be staying is Hochtown. Hochtown is kind of the the vacation spot, right? So it used to be, you know, not even a map dot, but uh, lately it's really blossomed. Um, there's all kinds of restaurants, breweries, distilleries, wineries, all that kind of stuff, all, all, the, all the fun stuff. There's places to see live music. Um, you know, there's a saloon, there's like a steakhouse, like all kinds of fun stuff. There's fun stuff for the kids to do. Um, petting zoo, go-kart tracks, um, mini golf, you know, just all kinds of things to do, things to do, places to eat and so forth. So that is just, just to the, to the west of where I'm at now. 
So just southwest to the southwest corner of the lake. That's where that's where all the stuff is. And so that's where people go when they say they're going to Broken Bow. Broken Bow Lake is also set in the foothills of the Awachita Mountains. Um, so I learned uh, recently that Awachita was, was uh, kind of a name for a hunting party of Choctaw people who were relocated here um, during the whole treaty uh, and kind of relocation situation between, you know, the, the U.S. Army, U.S. government, and all the Indian nations. And so Choctaw people were originally from Mississippi. So that, that was their land, got relocated here to southeastern Oklahoma. This is their area, this is their country. And uh, Awachita Mountains go all the way up into Arkansas and, and that's really what they're known for, but this is kind of where they start. So um, if, you're, if you're coming into this area from the prairie land from the west, you know, it's, it starts to, starts to get hilly. You start to see pine trees, you know, and then, and then it's like, boom, mountains and the lake. And so we, we really are on the, on the kind of Western frontier of the Ouachita mountains. Uh, but it is, it, there are mountains, there's, you know, loaded up with deer. I just saw a buck this morning driving over here. I mean, like a nice one, um, uh, black bear and all kinds of fun stuff. So this really is a really cool, naturally beautiful kind of wilderness type of lake. And I really encourage you to visit it. You can start your adventure by planning at brokenbowlake.net. I'll put some links down below and a couple other videos you gotta see if you wanna come up here and visit. I'm Simon from Lake Hub and we'll catch you next time.